Chuck, you ever been all knotted up? I'm knotted up right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. now, I was going to explain uh, knots. Oh, as in boat speed. Bo- boat speed. Oh, okay. Do you right. know about? Do you know what a knot is? Um, I don't spend time on boats. <laughs> no, See, no. I, I, haven't, yacht. I haven't made it quite to that level yet. <laughs> you know, I'm not in the. I'm, I don't travel in the circles with friends <laughs> with boats. <laughs> A knot is actually pretty obscure, yes. and, and it almost makes no sense at all in modern times. Okay, but it made complete sense back in the day. All right, back in the like, in the seafaring days, in the, seafaring, <laughs> in the in the colonialist days. Right. Okay, it made sense back then. As you may know, we have divided Earth up into coordinates. Yes, longitude and, and latitude. latitude. That makes sense. Okay. By the way, you cannot see these lines drawn on Earth as you approach the planet. And you know what? Here's the thing. I know this is true because every time I'm in a plane, I'm like, I don't see these lines. <laughs> I have no idea. Yes. And which is why I was surprised to learn that in the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, okay. that the aliens were sending us longitude and latitude coordinates to tell us where they're going to land. Oh. I mean... It's possible that they have been eavesdropping on our conversations long enough. But realizing that the prime meridian, which goes through Greenwich, England, okay, which is the center of the longitudinal coordinate system, was an, a political act. There's nothing purely geometric about that. The, somebody got to pick it because that's where they wanted it. I'd be correct, okay? The Parisians wanted it going through the Paris Observatory rather than through Greenwich. Right. But okay? And it could have, but it didn't. They're a-holes, and so everybody was a-holes. just like, no, sorry, Pierre. <laughs> you are so stereotypical. That is not a stereotype. That is an observation. <laughs> an observation. You know, because you know the French were like, it is a premier idiot. It should be in France. <laughs> Would you stop that with the French? We love the French, okay? We do. So the aliens, if they knew enough about our culture. Right. To hand us longitude where they're going to land, right. it meant they knew about oh, French history, oh, wait a British history. Right. They knew all of this. It also means that they didn't have to speak to us in in colors and notes. <laughs> they could have just said, "Hey, what's up?" Exactly. Oh if they knew all of this about our <laughs> culture, true. they could have just I'll meet you to the left of Devil's Tower exactly. at three thirty this afternoon. Right. Be there. I think that's so funny. okay. That, wow. Be what there is, or be square. That is a think very about good that observation. There's no the lines are not on the earth. That's right. There's no, you would have to understand all of our modern culture, culture and politics, and politics to know. Okay, okay. Meet us at these coordinates. Yes, that's yes. so wild. Never yeah. thought of that. Okay, okay. So these are coordinates on the earth. This is very cool. So. When you had a navigator and a seagoing vessel, okay, you want to know how far you've gone. Of course. Okay. So take the entire longitude system of the Earth. There is 180 degrees in one direction, 180 degrees in the other, east and west. Okay. Total, how many degrees? 360. Fine. How do you divide the degrees? One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll, re- I'll re- ask that. Within a degree, how are they divided? Oh, that I don't know. How how do you divide? Minutes. What's that? Minutes. Minutes. Okay. And nothing to do with time. Right. Right. But no. Other than that, there's sixty in both. Right. It's minutes of an arc. So these are angles. Right. Okay. okay. And each minute is divided into seconds. Seconds. So sixty seconds in a minute. Sixty minutes in a degree. Three hundred and sixty degrees in the full circle. Okay. Okay. Do you realize that the width of that degree, or Mm. minute, or second, is maximum at the equator? Of course. Because as you get closer to the poles- They come together. They come together. Right. So it all all merges. It all merges. To one point at the top. It all merges. Right. All right, so the, the physical length of a degree, or minute, or a second, in longitude is not the same depending on your latitude. Right. Which is not. Okay. Whereas the degrees of latitude are the same no matter where you are. Okay. It works out that way. All right. Because there's nothing converging, really. Right. So it's 90 degrees yeah. from the equator to the pole. So you have a degree, and then you divide the degree into? 
minutes. Minutes and into seconds. Right. Okay. So, a knot. Ah. Uh? That's what we were talking about. Right. Is a speed of one arc minute per hour. Okay. So you can calculate more simply how far something is, how long it'll take you to get there, and other associated numbers that matter to your voyage. So let's do some fast math. If I travel 60 knots, how long will it take me to travel one degree? One hour. One hour. Yeah. So that's it. That's it. One hour. Okay. okay. How long to go two degrees? Two hours. Fine. That's true going exactly north-south or on the equator. Mm-hmm. You have to figure out what the width of a minute is in longitude as you're farther as north because it's right, getting narrower. It's getting narrower and narrower. Right, right. So you have to... They, it's not a very good... No, it's, <laughs> this is not a good system of figuring out how... What? Yeah. Why? Diagonals require a little bit of trigonometry. Yeah. Okay. I mean, miles per hour kind of works. <laughs> so now you can ask, who's going faster? Right. The person going 60 miles an hour or the person going 60, 60 knots? knots. Ugh. Yeah, the person going 60 miles an hour. Mm -mm. So a knot is, if you do the math, is 1.15, about one and a sixth miles per hour. Per hour. So when you're dividing those minutes, we know the distance is one Well, yeah, because on Earth, okay, look at the circumference of Earth. The circumference of Earth is 24,900 miles. Right. Okay. 20, and how many degrees is it? It's 360 60 degrees. degrees. So, so when we take the degree and... and okay, we, divide by degrees and then I divide by another 60 right. to get the, the, the minutes. Right. I get 1.15 miles. Just a little bit more. It's just a little bit just more. Just a little bit more than a We're mile. We're okay with that as imperial units people. Right. Because what's a sixth between friends? <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Whereas the metric people, there's no obvious metric unit that comes close to knots. Right. It's neither imperial nor metric. It's just it's nautical. It's just nautical. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, Knots. Okay. It's, I got to tell you, they could have done better. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> honestly, I didn't know, like, you know, I, I, I knew what knots were because uh -huh. anybody who has a boat or, you know, sometimes they talk about airspeed in knots for some reason. I don't know why. They do also. Yes, yeah, yes, they, yes. Yeah. How fast is the plane How going? How fast is the plane going? Because, again, they're navigating Earth. Right. It's got that navigational right. uh, yeah. uh, baggage. Yes. Let's call it that. Yeah, exactly. But nowadays, with GPS knows exactly where you are at all points, it'll hand you your distance to your destination right. and whatever the hell units you want. Yeah. And I think the knot thing, they're holding on to the knots. I don't know why. Nostalgia. Maybe. It makes you sound cool. You yeah. know what I mean? And they say, Arr! Yeah. <laughs> Look at us. We're doing 40 knots. <laughs> okay, so now here's your pop quiz. Tell me now, what is a knot? Just to make sure I, I'm still an educator and that you you still learn. So the knot is one degree, or the measurement of one degree in minutes between... The degrees in longitude that make up the um, that don't make up, but uh, to measure the distance that you are traveling. You used all the words that we used <laughs> into one sentence. Is so, that no, no? But it was close. Okay, so close-ish. Close-ish. Ish. So knot is a speed. Well, that's what I said. To measure the distance, speed is it's a speed. Well, okay, so one yes. knot. Right. Is one arc minute per hour. Right. That's all. That's the part that I couldn't remember. Right, right. So that's the actual the so, actual knot. Right. Is one arc minute, minute per hour. Per hour. So if you go and the at arc sixty knots, you're going sixty arc minutes per hour. In an hour. And on a grid on our grid, sixty arc minutes is how much? That's one degree. One degree. Right. Exactly. So I went I I took a long time to say that, but yes. All right. Uh, we got to land this plane. Okay. Or dock this boat. We got to dock this boat. <laughs> We're pulling in at one half knot. <laughs> this this is been, a no wake zone. This has been another, yet another explainer. Uh, Chuck, always good to have always you. Always a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson. Keep looking up.